talking with the members, this, this seems to be one of the most challenging aspects of our meeting to, to give a very effective evaluation. And today, we are blessed with some of the best evaluators we have ever come <laughs> Ralph, Brad, and Karen. So our speakers are in for a very complete thorough evaluation. <laughs> First of all, I like I'm going to bring up Morel Abu to evaluate Michael Lane. Morel. <laughs> Michael, here's with speech number five today, and speech number five relates to your body speaks. And so your assignment today was to select a topic that facilitates the use of uh, body language, use stance, <coughs> movement, gestures, facial expressions, eye contact to express your message and achieve your speech's purpose. Ensure that body language enhances and clarifies your words and helps the audience to visualize your points and overall message and make your body language smooth and natural. I would say that you made progress with all of those objectives, but I don't know if you quite met them today. You do have a nice presence up here. Uh, people want to be able to listen to what you have to say. You're articulate, you have good eye contact. You had a good message today. Be specific in your claim. I'm not being specific today, I hope, with you. Uh, you did step out more than what I've seen you in the past, in the past and especially early in your Toastmasters career here. You were pretty tied to the lectern. So you're stepping out is progress. And your facial expressions and how you related to the audience and the eye contact uh, was all was all good. Some areas that I think you can improve on is that, and I harp on this all the time and I'm tired of repeating it, it's something where you really have to use the title, and you really have to use that introduction to set up your speech. And so I think you absolutely, and everybody, and I'm guilty of the two, is to spend as much time thinking about the title and the introduction as you do of putting together the rest of your speech because that will help you execute your speech. Don't make excuses whenever you start a speech. You made excuses when you started the speech. You tended to re repeat yourself a little bit in this speech uh, around specifics and a little bit of it was uh, with specific and defining are all pretty similar. So uh, be more specific in what you're trying to get across. <laughs> You rushed your wrap up. You saw that the time was running out, so you rushed your wrap up. So, Michael, when I see you, I see someone who has a lot of great potential. You're making good progress. What I would suggest is that you write out your speech. I write out my speeches. I bring them to me, with me, to the uh, Toastmasters meeting. I have them either in, in my breast pocket or I set them down, and then I move away from a lecture. And that's a little bit of my blanket security blanket is to have that. And you might think about that. Start with the story, tell us what you're gonna tell us, and then tell us, and then wrap it up. And I think we all struggle with it. But once you get that down, then you can really start to expand and get out to your body language. So good luck to you. 